Hello people, welcome back here to the channels Tapaolho Azul and Super Academico. And today I'm going to make some comments about a uh, year, <laughs> a year reading I'm doing with the audiobook from the author, let's see, Daniel Kahneman. Kahneman. The book, the book I'm still reading, uh, reading, hearing, I'm still hearing, reading is thinking fast and slow well uh, Daniel Kahneman I'll, I'll talk about a little about him and about my reading and understanding about this book he's the a winner of the Nobel Prize in economics uh, some biography about him Daniel Kahneman as a Israeli American psychologist and economist notable for his work on the psychology of judgments and the decision making as well as behavioral economics for which he had he was awarded awarded in 2002 with the nobel prize in economic science shared with vernon smith and uh, his empirical findings empirical findings challenge the assumption of human rationality prevailing in modern economic theory and then it talks about some more of his work well the essential thing about this this book it's a uh, it's very different from the kind of reading that I used to do especially uh, considering my background in philosophy and sociology because um, uh, when I, I find and uh, when I found the, the book the yearbook in the YouTube here in YouTube, I thought was some kind of a self-help book about fast thinking, about how to think faster, something like that. And then, uh, as I began to to hear uh, the book, I, I I saw that was something very well, much more well developed uh, about a research that he then uh, is. Daniel Kahneman and his friend Amos Amos let's see the name of the the other Amos Tavesky Tavesky they they researched for a long time during um, good part of the 20th century about um, the, the assumption that uh, people when make decisions they use the the rational mind and there was a theory in psychology that uh, the rational mind was dominant in the human uh, in human mind in human society eventually uh, we, we know now know today with the the, the researches in neuroscience that uh, there is not that there is no there isn't just such thing as a rational ra rational mind and a not rational mind there is a system a system which was developed uh, with the evolution of human physiology where uh, our decision making is based on what Daniel Kahneman calls uh, two system uh, two systems operating eh, eh, together eh, in, in, in some kind of a assessment of the the knowledge in the environment environmental zone is a heritage of what we learn in the in, in the, our early days in the forest eh, in the savage days i don't know something like that is basically uh, when we when we feel when we assess the, the the information that surrounds us one system makes a fast decision makes uh, makes a decision that uh, is mostly connected to our survival so it's, it's basic based on instinct or what he calls um, <coughs> um, uh, intuition he calls intuition 
and this intuition is, 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 uh, is mostly right when treats with uh, with dealings uh, that affects our survival. Like uh, if we are here uh, uh, loud noise close to us we got the attention to this noise because it could be a threat to our life like an animal uh, a car explosion something like that so we act like without thinking because we think fast because we use the part of our system of a neurological system that acts on intuition not, not exactly instinct but intuition and he, he says that we develop along the time this this other system that we we connect with the rationality where we analyze things with more time with uh, a little bit more effort uh, from the mind to decide if something is right wrong is a good decision is a bad decision what is the best decision in the, the process and also he says that uh, his findings with his colleagues his co-workers uh, through his life or research and showed showed that uh, most people most people great majority of people don't know how to assess uh, statistics knowledge to make decision to to apprehend the the surroundings what he says is that we make the decisions based on stories called uh, causal causality causality stories that <coughs> the the system the 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 first system and the intuition system assess most rapidly and then transform it into the truth of the decision and that's the problem uh, we, we we decide too fast and he says that the the other system that rational system what he, he calls system two is too slow or lazy and mostly let the work be done by the first system the intuition the first the system one he calls but in the complexity of our society in our way of develop the world the society the democracy the politics the relations the work relations the professions the whatever it's very hard to keep uh, a sustainable rate of decisions that are right based on intuition only in intuition he says that when someone that is very experienced like uh he, he call he uh, makes example with uh, chess masters and CEOs of companies, but uh, there are other examples of people that uh, do something for a long time, have experience doing something in a very long time. They seem to make decisions based on intuitions very fast and most of the times they are right but uh, that happens not because uh, they did not develop the system to the rational system is because it's developed during so much time that help that helps the system one the, the, the intuition to works correctly in a situation that's more difficult for the others one example that he, he quotes is uh, the, the chess chess master when he looks to the chess board he sees the 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 place he sees the the ways to play very easy while i for example cannot do that i have to think a lot because i don't play chess very often uh, i just <laughs> I used to forget the rules, the positions. When I restart playing, I have to relearn everything again. So I don't have the the 
the, the facility. You know, they don't have the, 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 the way to, to, to put the things in, in, in a way that are supposed to, to make the, the, the movements easy and correct, like a chess master uh, that looks at the board for some seconds <laughs> or even less and find immediately the way that the game will play. So, <coughs> this example, along others, yeah, uh, says, uh, says to us that uh, our minds, in, in all the complexity that we heritage, uh, that we receive from our, our people in the past, uh, helps us to deal with everyday problems but we can i i'm close to the end of the book but i, I see what he's trying to say about the the process of decision making we can train ourselves to deviate from the intuitions that are the easy way to answer the questions the decisions and look in a way that you can assess the statistical uh, ways of thinking that uh, requires more effort from the, the mind to, to look for the answer in, in a more rational way in, in a more uh, in a more uh, grounded way because the biggest problem that we have that's a, I, that's me interpreting what he's saying as a consequence to our society in our society <laughs> in everyday life we make decisions based on what we feel in the moments and we don't think a lot about even when the facts and the numbers the statistics statistics shows something different we tend to go into what we already believe in, what we have learned to believe in. And then it's very hard to, to, to slow down the thing and let our rational brain, our rational part, that the system two, that the Dion Kahneman says, act in a way that we can make the right decisions, not ignoring instincts or intuition but uh, assessing other uh, other types of knowledge other types of data of facts that can help you make a better decision a decision that's not only based on in your intuition and he has an expression that says that it's called the bias intuition all intuition a bias because we tend to make the decision based on what we know already so new facts are often ignored it's like uh, the, the political situation here in brazil and in other countries it's like a someone that's inside a, a, a narrative about some certain people in the politics they are so they are so into the the narrative that they cannot accept simple facts that show that the narrative <laughs> is a lie is, is false so they have to correct the narrative with other kinds of lies other other kinds of false information so it can't go on it, it's, it's, they can't accept the fact that they are wrong they've been deceived they were lied to so it keeps some people some good people in a bad situation because of this it's it's very sad and this book of daniel kenema let's say again the title fast thinking fast and slow it's a it's a good way to to learn how to slow down and use our ability our capability of thinking of 
going to a more grounded way of making the decisions about what we believe, about how we see life, how we see our political system, our social system, our economic system. And, well, well, I think it's a good way to start changing your thinking. So I recommend this, this reading or hearing. Right? I am I, making the video in English exactly because I heard the book. I'm still hearing the book. I haven't finished yet in English. So I recommend that it's a very interest reading or hearing whatever so that's it for today for this week in english here in the channels super academic in tapa Azul. i hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe to both channels give the like and hit the bell for notifications comments share the video and we see next week with another video bye bye